Well, Bashford will start in the shotgun formation on first and 10, and he wants to go deep early. And that one is intercepted. Brian Garvey with his... As you take another look here, it's an underthrown ball from Newman, or overthrown. He was looking for Joe and Grayo down the field, and uh, Morrow with the pair so deep at linebacker. On a third down, the Bombers only rush four, but it's enough as Jake Santora gets there and forces this interception from Chris Williams. The outside linebacker coming up to make a huge zone, Dylan. Well, they do go play action to Naden. A lot of room for Newman to roll out to the right, and he finds his man, Joe Ingrao, sneaking along the back of the end zone, and Grayo open again. Who else? I mean, I didn't know who exactly. Scary man on the defensive line for opposing offenses. He's done a great job this year, as you said. Third and nine, Bashford wants to pass again, and he's intercepted again. This time it's Josh Dugan. And Dugan barrels his way past the 20 yard line. Another interception for the ball. On a similar play uh, to the one we're about to see here. We'll see if he goes to the air again. They give it to Ardwin and he doesn't even have to. Ardwin lowers the shoulder and cruises into the end zone for six more bomber points. It's been pivotal in this bomber's offense and it's a fake punt. Looking over the middle, it's going to be caught by Tanner Williams and a first down. Oh, not Tanner. Player who covers a lot of ground for the Bombers defense. And he means a lot to this linebacker core with so many key parts out. On second down, a pitch and catch here for Hartwick. And that's going to be a touchdown by Tanner Williams. So the man that we said they were trying to get the ball. Coming into the game at quarterback, Phil Newman standing on the sidelines. We'll try and find out Hawks to respect that, that passing attack him since he's not had many pass attempts at all this season. In fact, none coming into today. Uh, play action on second down. Dempsey rolls to his right, finds Porter in the flat. Porter's got ahead of Steve Hurling, a defender, to pick up a few extra yards there. Porter getting airborne. Yeah. And it did collapse, and that leads to A.J. Vallone's punt. He gets off a nice one here, and that was touched by Hartwick. And that is going to be a safety, I do believe, John. Oh, they are hard to win the running back. And Dempsey goes to play action on first down. He looks to the right side. He's got wide open Jared Kruger, who easily walks into the end zone. Nobody on the field. Dempsey gets good protection on this play action. He finds Joe and Grayo, who breaks one tackle, and gets across the 40-yard line. Joe and Gray has had a relative. Do the same thing again here. Well, Matthews takes the snap on first down. And <laughs> Matthews picks up where Bashford left off. Skyler Griffinberg on the interception, looking for a block or two. Griffinberg gets absolutely lit up at the end of that return. I think the ball came out, but the referees are right now ruling that he was down. So yeah, Ithaca will retain possession with a little scuffle on the field now. Hardwick coughs up the ball at the goal line. That one was recovered by Hartwick. And they're gonna give possession to Hartwick. Third and 10. Matthews looking for an option downfield, doesn't have any. He's gonna throw this one right into the lap of Brian Garvey. And Garvey walks.